Start off by applying a foundation and setting in place with a powder so you have a nice base to work on. Next draw on thick black eyebrows with a liquid liner. They need to be really neat so sharpen the edges with a concealer. Draw a squiggly line down the centre of the nose. Then draw lines either side of the bridge of the nose and around the nostrils. Next, just outline the face and any area that you would usually contour. For example, the jawbone, the chin, and under the cheekbone. Any features that have a change in tone should be outlined. For example, outlining the most prominent parts of the ear gets rid of any dark areas only leaving one tone and making the ear look more two-dimensional. Next, outline the lips. You may need to make the line under the bottom lip thicker in order to see it. Thicken the rest of the outline to match. I used Urban Decay Primer Potion and Urban Decay Psychedelic Sister all over the lid and above the crease line so you can still see it when my eyes are open. It doesn't need to be purple but make sure you've got a block colour. Draw on a winged eyeliner, slightly exaggerating the wing to compensate for the crazy eyebrows. Then outline the eyeshadow, joining up to the eyeliner and thickening the eyeliner to match. Line underneath the bottom lash line and draw on some lashes at the edges. Alternatively, if you know you're going to struggle getting this neat, you could use some false lashes for the bottom lash line. Also line the waterline with white eyeliner to make your eyes appear bigger. Apply false lashes. It's best to use dramatic ones that look fake as this will add to the bold look. While the lash glue is setting, fill in the lips with a red lipstick, leaving a small rectangular shape in one of the corners. Then fill in the gap with a white eyeliner, being careful not to blend with the red. This looks all about the contrast of colours, so if you mix the white and the red it will turn pink and cause a gradient effect. You want to try to avoid that. With the bottom end of a paintbrush or a makeup brush, apply red face paint in dots all over the face. This might take a while and it does get pretty boring. I filmed this tutorial twice now, but the first time I only filmed my forehead for an hour, but I preferred the hair the first time. To get the yellow hair I used an instant colour hairspray from Superdrug. Because it only coated the top of my hair, the dark hair showing through looked like the black detail in a lot of pop art work, so all I needed to do was add some more black to define a style.